Hello guys and welcome back to episode 3 of Pokey Stuff, where today I'll be going over my experience at California State Championships in Queen Mary Long Beach. This tournament took place on March 16 and I played in the senior division with my deck Garbodor Tracking Mewtwo. I'll be making a full report of the entire day at California State's along with every round and all that good stuff. My record for this tournament will be on the bottom right corner. So round one I was paired up against Taylor Jones, who was running some type of weird baked basics deck with Black Hero MEX, White Hero MEX, and Rayquaza EX. Um, really strange, I know. However, he couldn't get energy into play, and all I did was attach all my energy in the deck to one Mewtwo EX, and one hit KO'd all his Pokemon to take a quick win, 1-0. So feeling good, we move on to round 2, where I was paired up against Barney Whitmore, who was running Rayquaza Electric. So I knew this was obviously going to be an easy matchup, because Gorbador shuts down Electric, and Terrakion overpowers pretty much most of the Pokemon in that deck, except for Rayquaza. And I was right, aside from his deck not being able to function correctly, he even missed energy attachments from time to time, and I took an easy win for round 2. So on to round 3 where I got paired up with Theo Seeds, and he was running Blastoise Keldeo. Unfortunately, he made a fatal mistake on turn 2, which pretty much just cost him the game. And even though I couldn't get the lock set up, I overpowered him easily because of the misplay. If you're wondering what the misplay was, please leave a comment and I'll gladly explain. So I took another win there, bringing my record to 3-0 and on to round 4. Round 4 I was paired up against Patrick Martinez, who was the brother of Jason Martinez, who took 2nd place at Worlds back in 2009. So I knew I was in for a tough match, and strangely enough, he was also running Garbodor, so this was going to be a mere match. Unfortunately, he wins the coin flip and he flips over a Landorus EX to my lone Trubbish. He Ultra Balls for a Mewtwo, Switch, Computer Search for a Double Colorless Energy, and I get docked. So a very disappointing way to lose round 4, and I am 3-1. So on to round 5 where I was paired up with Clara Chang, who was running Darkrai Hydra Gun. So I knew this was going to be an easy matchup because I was running Garbodor, which shuts down Dark Trance and Dark Cloak for free retreat. However, I could not get set up and my opponent got a turn 2 Hydra Gun, including a few Dark Patches onto some Dark Rise, and started Night Spearing me for a lot of damage. Alongside that, I had a supporter drop and energy drop the entire game, and I just could not make a comeback. So 3-2, and I'm pretty disappointed. However, the record to make top cut that day would be 5-2, which means I still had a shot, as long as I win the next two matches. So on to round 6, where I was paired up against one of my friends, Arya Salemi, who was running Blastoise Keldeo. Turn 2, I got double Garbodors in play, but no tools, which gave him a shot to win this game. Fast forward into the game, and he has a damaged Keldeo with 4 energy cards attached to it, and I have a Mewtwo with a DCE. Unfortunately, without the Deluge ability, he cannot Deluge that extra energy to get the knockout. So all I can do is Sacred Sword for 150 damage and pass. I draw, attach another DCE, and X-Ball for the knockout to get my remaining two prizes. So now my record is 5-1 and all I need to do is win my last round of Swiss to get a spot in top cut. So on to round 7, where this was the most stressful round of all because it would determine who would make top 16, either me or my opponent Gavin Bowen. And the deck he was running was Dark Rye Hydrogen, so I knew I had a shot. Thankfully, I had good luck and I got both my Garbodor set up and there's nothing he could do about it. And he quickly fell behind to my two Terrakians and one Terrakian EX, land crushing their Dark Rise. So fast forward into the game again and time was called where I was turned zero. I do have a fairly large hand and I look through his discard pile and he's used up all his ends and around 10 energy cards. Seeing that he had no energies in play and I had three fully powered Terrakians, I had a feeling I would take this one home. So turn 2 after time was called, and we were tied on prizes at 2-2 each. I computer searched for my remaining catcher to catch up a Hydrogen that was damaged, 
and Lang crushes for the knockout. And then he concedes the game. So my final Swiss record was 5-2, and hooray, I was in top cut. I finished 10th in Swiss, and on to top 16. So on to match 1 of top 16, where I had to face Jarrett Hoon, who was running Rayquaza Electric. Except with a twist. He teched in Victini EX. Victini EX has an attack called Turbo Energize, which allows you to search your deck for two basic energy cards and attach them to your bench Pokemon. A great energy accelerator when you can't use your Dynamotors because of Garbodor. And it actually proved to be pretty consistent. And it did give me a hard time through the entire match. So on to match 1 where I did not realize that he used Victini EX to power up his attackers. So at first I realized if I set up Garbodor, I should be fine. And then he benches Victini and starts using Turbo Energize and then uh oh, he starts powering up all his Rayquazas by stalling with a Garbodor that he captured up. So then I realized if I want to win, then I'm going to have to knock out Victini EX. So that's exactly what I do. I knock out both of my opponents Victini EX taking 4 prizes and he just does not have enough energy cards to keep filling Rayquazas to Dragon Burst for the game and I take an easy game 1. So on to game 2 where he gets to go first, and I just cannot get set up, and I scoop game 2. The third and final game where it decides who gets to move on to top 8, I get to go first, and just like game 1, I target down Victini EXs, and fast forward into the match, where he's at 3 prize cards and I'm at 1. I have a Mewtwo EX in the active position, and a Terrakion on the bench with one energy card. He has a Victini EX in the active position and a damaged Rayquaza EX fully powered on the bench. He retreats to the damaged Rayquaza using Skyro Bridge and ends me down to one, hoping that I do not draw the energy card to retaliate that damaged Rayquaza for the game. However, I do draw the energy off of the one card and he does not know that. So he Dragon Burst my Mewtwo for the knockout, I promote Terrakion, attach the energy, and retaliate for the game. So I win my top 16 match, and on to top 8, where I had to face Paulo Amaro. And he was using Darkrai Sableye lasers. So on to game 1 where I just cannot set up. Along with that, I get a supporter drop and energy drop throughout the entire game, and he sets up all his attackers with multiple energies, and gets an easy game 1. So hoping to do better, we move on to game 2, where I get to go first. I do manage to get set up, but so does he. Fast forward into the game where it's down to 1-1 one, one prize each. I have a Mewtwo in the active position with a double colorless energy, and so does my opponent. And it's on my turn, so I X-Ball for 160 and pass. And if he does not attach an energy, because I just end him down to 1, he wouldn't be able to win the game. But he top decks Hypnotoxic Laser, poisons me, expels for 160, and I get knocked out and lose game 2. Meaning that I am kicked out of the tournament. Overall, I did better than I thought. I never knew I would make it to top cut, and this is actually the best I've done in any state championships. I finished the tournament in 7th place and took home 9 Plaza Storm booster packs, which I will be doing an opening for, so stay tuned for that and 50 championship points. Pretty neat stuff. And that's pretty much it for this week's episode of Pokey Stuff. If you enjoyed it, please rate, comment, and subscribe. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for pack openings in real life and in PTCGO. And also I'll be doing a deck review of my deck Garbodor Track in Mewtwo all coming up. So thanks for watching and see you guys later.